Hello everyone and welcome back for my next episode in my Dark Souls playthrough. Finally had success and made my way into Blight Town. In fact, I kind of made my way through Blight Town, I think. Now, I don't think I've actually discovered all the areas down there by any means, but it's like I went over all the way down, all the way back up and out the other side and found a way back to the starting area, which was like super cool. During that process, we ran into new monsters, new creatures, and definitely found out that poison slash toxin is a big issue down there. Probably also one the longest stretches I've done from like bonfire to bonfire without dying. So I was super proud of that, even though I feel like I got really close. <laughs> I got a whole slew of ideas of what we're going to do in this episode, and I haven't decided what I'm going to pick yet. So we'll figure that out at the beginning of the episode. If this is your first time finding the channel, welcome. Hope you have a fantastic time. And if you do have a really good time, it sure does help me out when you consider hitting that subscribe button. Okay, well, let's not wait any longer. Let's boot this bad boy back up and see what we're going to get into in this episode. All right, welcome back everybody I'm so excited so what the reason I couldn't say in the intro exactly what I wanted to do yet is because I got several options episode 17 dropped just a couple days ago and as I'd hoped you guys poured out a lot of tips suggestions hints things to consider things that I had missed now some of those things that you suggested I have since done such as found the door that leads me uh, all the way down into the blight town area uh, but I got some ideas or some tips on how to deal with the skeletons. I learned about cursed and holy weapons. Uh, I learned about the drakes a little bit. Apparently I can probably hack my way through there a little bit. I, I got reminded also that Dark Souls doesn't follow typical RPGs in like every fashion it seems like. And one of those things being, there's not necessarily an area that you're quote unquote not at a good level for. If you know the enemy, you learn the enemy, and you understand how it works, you can fight anything you want in here. That's why people run this thing at level one, the whole game at level one. And it just, it goes against everything I've done for years playing RPGs where you hit a wall, so you go out and you grind for a while, get some more levels, and then you're a little more stronger, you get better gear, then you're a little stronger. It's so weird to me. Ah, uh, so anyways, uh, I say that to say that people said that you can take on that Hydra dragon, the, the multi-head thing. Uh, you just got to figure it out. And so, yeah, I think also switching my weapon to this has made a huge difference as well. The damage output that I'm putting out now is so much better. Um, so it's like, man, what do I want to do? Now, one thing I want to do, uh, I've had a few people suggest that my levels are maybe a little bit low for where I should be, uh, not because of my level, but just like my dexterity and stuff, could be in a better spot. And I also know that I'd like to get more of those moss things if possible. Uh, I do have an NPC that can sell me the transient things or whatever it is that I need to go fight the ghost. But if I can find a cursed weapon and somebody hinted at there might be one down there where the drakes are at, I guess the ghosts themselves can drop cursed weapons. I can also modify weapons. And I'm wondering if out of all this stuff I found, if I've got something I can modify now. Uh, I think the first time I went there, I, I didn't have any of these green shard things and it talked about how I needed that to do what I was, what was available to me at that point. So we're going to kind of do a hodgepodge of things, I think. So my plan is we're going to fight our way back to the Smith. I haven't been there in a while. I need to repair my stuff. I also want to buy both those boxes so I can repair stuff on my own now and not have to run back to him. Uh, I'd also like to take a look at modifying weapons to see what options there might be there. Perhaps I can start taking this thing above level five. And then I think we might go into the woods a little bit. I might try and... You remember that one time I made it all the way up the ladder? Up to where the plants and stuff were at and I got killed real quick? Well, that's before I was using this weapon. I think I could put up a better fight there with this weapon. Oh, and we got more people over here now. Yo! You multiplied. Oh, hello. My guests have finally arrived. I will be departing with them shortly. What? So I'm afraid I will be saying goodbye soon. It was a pleasure. Seriously? You're leaving? Oh, hello. Miracles, I presume? Yes, I know. <laughs> so do I, I lose the option to buy what he offers? 
Not that I'm really using his stuff, but I mean, it kind of stinks. I, I thought he would just always be here as something I could spend money at. Come again. The effectiveness of this is back here. You are undead as well. Then we've no time to fraternize. I have my mission and you no doubt have yours. We must not let this curse overcome us. Okay. You must be human. Did I not explain the urgency of our tasks? Or are you no. so uncouth as to lack such judgment? By the looks of you, I should think not. <laughs> well, you tell me of an urgent mission, but then you don't tell me Did what I that is. Explain the urgency of our tasks. Well, the urgency you explained. So uncouth as to lack such Uncouth. You fancy words on me. Hmm? What have we here? You look awfully raggedy. Times are grim. The least you can do is look sharp. Don't you dare meet my lady like that. You might scare her off for good. Do I need to come to her like in human form? Is that what? <laughs> All right. All right, you guys do your thing. I got other things to deal with and hear about this urgent mission that you won't tell me about. Except for that it's urgent. Okay, y'all. Oh, there for a second I was like, uh, that is the right spot, right? Oh man, I'm excited. Uh, I feel like from episode 17 where I felt like I had I had no clue what to do. Now I'm in a position where I feel like I have so many things that I, that I can do. I'm back in that position where it's hard to choose. When are you guys coming over here? I did get confirmation that you can't parry uh, with this weapon. Can you backstab though? Oh! Oh! You missed! Boom! <laughs> I'm gonna get both of you. Shish kebab! <laughs> um. Yeah, I can't parry with this. Apparently parrying is something that's kind of shield specific. Uh, of course, we've come across a couple weapons that apparently have a parry type thing it can do, like the parrying daggers or whatever. And I think it was something else I got. Um, so I don't know if those are like exceptions to the rule or what, but at least I now know. Also found out from several people that uh, Saving all the weapons that I found is a good idea because sometimes what you'll want to do is like maybe you make one of them a cursed weapon, one of them a holy weapon, and one of them, you know, something else to deal with different types of enemies. So that was cool to learn about as well. Might as well hit this. Fill my health up without losing my flask. I'm just curious. Is it still closed? Yep. Looks like it's still closed over there. All right. 2,000 is not going to be much, but it'll give me a chance to look at that modified weapon option. Ah, I could smith some mighty weapons with one of those. Oh, could you? To me. Well, the last thing I gave you, you didn't do anything with it. All right, I'm going to try it. Magnificent. You won't be disappointed. I, I hope not. I wait to get started. That's awesome. Okay, modify. <gasps> he can take it up higher. Oh, what are these? These weren't like this before. What are the different... Hold on a second. That takes it above. That takes it to raw. What's raw mean? Mm. I mean, it's making it stronger, though. Why, why would... What's a raw version do? Uh, hold on, maybe if I use... Oh, I didn't know if I could use my little help menu thing. And then there's this one. That's making it divine. I wonder if divine is what it means by holy. Okay, we got down there at the very bottom. 
That little white circle's got 110 next to it. Let's see, what are these things down here at the bottom? Uh, determine strength of bleeding poison effects and divine occult effects. So yeah, that's probably... Div Divine's probably what's going to turn into a holy weapon. My goodness. I definitely want to make a holy weapon. I hear a holy weapon is how you can kill those skeletons that keep coming back. Someone said with a holy weapon, you can kill them for good. I don't understand what this is about, though. I, like, I could do this... So I can take it up to plus six. Or I can make it raw and it jumps up to 190. I don't know what the difference is between this. Like, what I'm curious about is if I take it to raw, can I then start leveling it up from there? Like, maybe it's just a stronger version of the halberd that then I can add plus five, plus 10, or whatever too. That's what I'm, that's what I'm so confused about here at the moment. Oh my goodness. And I don't want to make a mistake. Um. Hmm. Can he sell me by any chance? No, nope, he can still only sell me the small ones. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I'll be seeing you then. I want to grab a weapon that I'm not using at the moment. And we're going to just make it raw. And let's see what happens with it. Let's grab the... Um... Oh, I've had several people tell me this is like one of the strongest weapons in the game. The Black Knight Sword that I really... I, I, I plan on trying to give that a uh, go at some point. Okay, what do we got here? This is a curved sword. That's got a B. So this has a base of 96. That has a base of 82. You know what? Let's do this one. Oh, I already have that on me. It didn't pop up as an option, though. I wonder if it's because it's not fully upgraded. Man, I'm suddenly wishing I had a bunch more soul. I don't think I had... I think I used all my, um, my soul things at the very end of that fight. Yeah. Okay. 3,000 is not a lot. Looks like we might be going to do some fighting and come back to this guy here in a little bit. <laughs> Gorgeous view. I'm so worried I'm going to mess up with one of those messages and, like, accidentally hit him. I'm going to be so upset. Okay, we're going to try something. I can buy three of those. Let's take this up again. I want to get enough to take this up to max to see if it then pops up as an option here because one that'll teach me that that's what it takes to get it here everything says plus five so i'm assuming that's what it needs but i would like to have some confirmation and it's going to be a little while before anybody sees this video so i can't wait for that confirmation i got the spear i could try you know what i'm pretty set on this halberd i think i want to try doing this raw thing with the spear I definitely want a divine weapon at some point, but I don't know which weapon I want to do that with. Probably the sword. I think it would be fun to use a sword for that, but... Uh, so let's do this. Let's take you... Let's make it a raw... Hold on a second. So this is going to take physical... From 120 to 138. Okay, the strength para bonus is going to go from D... To e but the c stays the same so that's good thrust is going to come down some but that might have something to do with the fact that 
it's losing all that bonus. Okay, let's see what happens. I'm so nervous about this. Okay. It's been ascended. Reinforced weapon. Now, does it show up here? Is like a... I can start to level it again. Oh my goodness. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, now I definitely want to I want to do that to my my halberd. Oh man, absolutely. Absolutely. I'm so broke. I can't hardly fix nothing. Um I mean, I might as well go ahead and fix something. <laughs> All right. So we need to go get some soul. Let's go to the forest area. Well, boom. This will be my chance to try this weapon out down here. That ought to be fun. Okay. So here is now the plan for this episode. I think I know what I'm going to do. I don't know if we'll accomplish it all in this one episode, but this is what we're going to work on here for a bit. Uh, we're going to gather soul. We're going to march our way through here. I'm going to try to make it back up that ladder and into that area that I died at real at the tail end of that last episode. <laughs> I'm just so strong now. Um, and hopefully I can do a whole bunch of running around without dying. And then the goal will be, I know that's where I need to make my, my turn, but we're going to get the stone soldiers. It'll be some good XP. Um, if I can do a bunch of running around without dying, we're going to try to hit that smith before this episode is over. That would be the ideal situation. Now, if I'm way far away... Oh, and I need more of that stuff. If I'm way far away and we're, you know, past the hour mark, then uh, we may have to do the smithing on the next episode. But this all sounds like a lot of fun to me. Sound like a lot of fun to you? I hope so. I hope it sounds like fun. Okay, let's go ahead and rest here. So that's my new home base. Yeah, and this will give me a chance to stock up on more of those mosses. Because if I go back down into Blight Town, um, whoop, ooh, oh, did you see that? I got that up there just in time. I'm going to need this stuff. All right. But yeah, these stone soldiers are like 600 a piece. My guess is they're going to be pretty easy now, too. I'm going to test one, though, before I... I don't want to get myself killed because I'm jumping to assumptions. Underestimating. Oh! <laughs> Sorry, dude. That felt so mean. He didn't even get a chance. But look at that. 600 soul. That's like three shards right there. Just the one. Can I hit you without locking on? Nope. I gotta wait. And boom. Too easy. Too easy. Now, I think I had somebody tell me you can outrun the range on that thing. So, like, if, if I started running back as he started trying to do that move, I can get out of the range of it and not get hit by it. Which was nice because I thought it was just something that hit me no matter what. I didn't realize there was, like, a, a range. To it. I figured if I was down here and he was down here, I was going to get hit by it. But it was nice to know. That's not always the case. Can I hit you guys while you're still? <laughs> Seems like that should work. Uh. Yeah. Oh yeah, sucks to be you. <laughs> I'm gardening. Oop, I missed that one. Oh, nice try. Oh, he swung again. Yo. All your buddies just came out and did a magic trick right away. There we go. Boop. All right. Should be one more stone guy, two more plants. Let's go to the other side. 
first. I get these guys. Point. Oop. Oh. There we are. He was gonna try to eat me. Ooh, I got my I got it up there to block it at the last second. But it took all my stamina. Okay, I think that's all of them over here, isn't it? I know there's a couple snake-like things that are in the trees, but they're pretty small, so I ain't too worried about them. Oh, we got the pathway, too, over here. If I didn't need the soul so much... Souls! I'm sorry, I think I've been saying soul this whole time. Uh, if I didn't need the souls so much, I probably wouldn't have been going this way. We'd have went straight up. But since these guys are so easy compared to what's up there. It'd be stupid of me not to take advantage of it. Okay. <laughs> Still pretty amazing to hear that tree just kind of creaking. Alright. Um, I thought there was... Oh yeah, up there. Okay, there should be a stone guy over here. And then we got all the water guys that'll come hopping out here in a second. Luck on. Oh, I saw the second swing coming. Oh. Oh. I thought I could finish him real quick. I got cocky. It's alright, we can go pick it back up. Okay. That's the worst part about when you've like run through an area a bunch and you feel like you kill everything super fast. Is it's so easy to let your guard down. Ooh. My goodness. And I gotta remember too. I don't have the uh shielding that I used to do anymore. Since I'm using using this. Oh no! What? Okay. Maybe I need to bring my shield back out for this little area. I mean, I can use this one-handed now, so it's not a, as big of a deal, but... Man, these guys swing fast. I can't... I just lost, like, 4,500 soul. I was like, we'll just run back and get it real quick. Yeah, here we go. See, I hit that one, and then the one in the back. Man, I'm doing less damage. I'm not one-shotting at all anymore. It's all right, though. I stayed safe. Oh, I feel so bummed about that. That's one of those moments where it's like, should I just, like, swoosh past me doing all this again do you guys really want to watch me do all this again oh look how puny my hits feel now i mean it took five swings instead of four not the end of the world i suppose oops i should probably be filling my life up more often i keep thinking i want to get the most use i can out of my flask and so i'm like eh i'm good That's probably what's been really hurt me. Ooh. Woo wee. Nice try. Yeah, do your magic trick. Uh. There we are. That was definitely the smarter way to do that, wasn't it? Man, I can't go back and pick that. If I hadn't gone down that path, I'd have forgotten about it. I'd still be alive right now. All right, stone guy. I got to tell you guys, I really, really, really appreciate all the awesome feedback you guys keep giving me about how much you're enjoying this playthrough. I got people that say they enjoy waking up in the morning and they, uh, they watch it while they're getting ready for work or listen to it while they're getting ready for work. Uh, other people say they listen to it on their lunch break. Uh, some people, it's like what they do with their uh, significant other <laughs> is they'll sit down and watch an episode of this. I'm like, oh my goodness, that is so cool. 
But yeah, you guys have been so kind with the words that you've said about the playthrough and just wishing me the best for the channel and stuff. That's just, thank you for that. My goodness, come on. Huh, there we go. There, I got all four of them that time. Let's go ahead and drink in case this guy comes up swinging. Like that. There we are. Oh, I missed. Ugh. Okay. I feel like I did all that better this time. Whoa. Now, I've been debating on... So, I've, I've had several people suggest swords. They're like, swords are the best, use the swords. I've had other people say, clubs are the best, use the clubs. Clearly... There are a lot of fans of all the different weapon types. Ooh, a green blossom. Is that the thing that gave me a stamina boost? I can't remember. I think that was a stamina boost thing. Um, but out of all the weapons I've come across so far, you guys gotta let me know in the comment section, what's your favorite weapon? Or do you have a favorite one? Maybe you have a favorite one just for certain situations. Okay, this time I'm not going to get close enough. Because last time when I swung, that got me close enough to trigger the water creatures from coming up. And it got me in trouble. This time I'm backing up. Look at that. Three hits. Mm. Okay, it's coming on up now. Boink. Easy money. That's what this is. Woo. Easy money. All right, we got one more stone guy. I think there was only one up here, if I remember right. I don't think there were two. Whoa. Man, I can't wait to take this, this thing up even more. Knowing that I could take it to the raw form and then start stacking plus five on top of that. That's amazing. Now, I remember falling somewhere. We're going to try jumping. Or rolling off there. That, that'll that do too. If I want to make it look cool, I guess. <laughs> Not the way I meant to get across there. Oh. Yep. I ain't taking no chances. I'm backing up. There we are. I keep forgetting their reach is really strong. Okay, over here's the bonfire, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to run back and level up my weapon that I prefer. And then we're going to go on a run past the Hydras and up that ladder. I don't know. Should I try to take on the Hydras? Maybe they just do so much damage to me, even from a distance. But maybe what I got to do is get close. But then what I'm worried about is they're just going to eat me. <laughs> like, forget spitting water at the guy. Let's just eat him. Ooh, I mean, I, I, I bet I'm a bit crunchy. But uh, I bet it tastes good. I've read enough signs that call me fatty. I must be juicy. <laughs> I'm a juicy, crunchy bar. Oh, no, don't read that. Give me... There we go. That's what I wanted. Okay. Let's have some fun with this. Oh, I can't believe as strong as this weapon is... It's about to get even stronger. That's amazing. So amazing. And what I'm probably going to do is that sword. Uh, since I, I haven't used it. Mm, I don't know. Maybe I do want to make it the raw form before I consider making it holy. Okay. Modify. Yes. This one right here. And the fact that it's still only 200 is what kind of amazes me in that deal. OK, 
Okay, we're gonna buy... How many of these can I get? Uh, I better stop at six. Reinforce weapon. <laughs> that is one big club. Oh, it's gonna take the large Titanite shards to upgrade that now. Okay. Okay, I thought it had reset down to the regular Titanites. Okay, good to know. Uh, I have been using this a bit, so why don't we go ahead and max this out? There we go. Uh, I got two left. I'm not going to do that one just yet. Let's work on... Got enough to repair at least a little bit. Oh, I might be able to get it all back. There we go. Weapons are in good shape. Okay. I'm happy with that. Hmm. It's like, should I take the bow and make it divine? But those, those ghosts get too close to me. If I could stand at a distance and just keep shooting with arrows, that would be pretty cool. So... I could do this to take it back down. I wonder why I would want to do that, though. Is it because this is cheaper? But it doesn't seem like going that route would be necessarily better than going this way with it first. I don't know. All I know is the attack number is bigger now, so hopefully that means this is going to be even better than it was before. All right, let's sit here for a second. All right, I'm going to empty a bunch of stuff out of here that I don't need, and then we'll pick up right after that. Okay, I just noticed my little uh, item down there has that symbol on it. I guess it means that it's in raw format. Let's see if anything else changed on this thing that's like... Nope, don't take it off. One ninety plus sixty. It's a D for the bonus now, where I th think it was higher before, but that might be because it had been leveled up. Someone told me that the the param bonus will go up the more times you level it, and since we kind of dropped it back down to level one, I'm assuming maybe that's why that also dropped down. Hmm. All right, doesn't look like anything else changed there. Okay. All right. Do I could take this off. Leave that on. I'll leave those there. Oh, I should buy some more arrows. I forgot. I am almost out of those. I don't think they cost very much. And if I remember right, this is where I was buying them. So we'll go ahead and spend the rest of the souls getting some arrows. Well, I know you need. Uh, purchase. There we are. I don't think I want to move up to these yet. I'll stick with the cheapies. Quantity over quality. <laughs> that is A-OK. -okay. I should be able to get... Yep, there we go. All right, much better. Go and get yourself killed. All righty. Here we go, baby. Let's go fight some stuff. I got to test out my new... Well, I mean, I guess we were fighting stuff just a little bit ago, but... Now, I have had some people suggest to start trying to lighten my load a little bit, that my rolls and my movement and stuff would be quite a bit faster. I don't know if I've reached a point yet where I want to take off any of the gear that I have. Huh. 266! Oh, that was noise. Uh, but I am thinking about it. At some point... See, run this way. At some point, there he is. I will see about maybe swapping some things out so that I'm even lighter. But for now, I'm going to leave it where it's at. Oh, man. I feel like I haven't been over here in quite some time. I think this... I don't want to accidentally jump off. I'm trying to remember where that cave was at. Dark Root Basin. 
Nope, not over there. I remember there was a split of sorts. Mm. Here we are. I think it's the lower one that has the cave. And the cave's what I need if I want to hit that bonfire. Oh, the, uh, the character that is inside that tower, the guy that's like made of stone. Uh, I have had some people say that uh, it might take a few tries, but I probably could beat him. That the he, You kind of have to keep circling around him and wait for him to swing so that hopefully he like leaves himself open and you kind of go for back attacks. That he'll, he'll provide opportunities to hit him from behind. I don't know, should I go give that a try? Such a small space inside of there. <laughs> Although I did just beat the um, the Copra Demon or whatever it was. I beat him. That was kind of a small space. In fact, I got that's the video that came out today, and I've had so many people say you did such a good job beating him on your third try. Uh, apparently, he's a big challenge for a lot of people, typically because of how closed space it is, and the and the two dogs that they have in there. So I was like, oh boy, that made me feel good too. I was like, I could do it. I could do it. Oh, did it spot me? It's moving. I don't want to go in and try this guy and then he comes out after me. Yep, he's coming. And boom. Oh, I missed. Oh, left myself completely open. My goodness, look how strong this weapon is now. That's amazing. Oh, I might regret this. But then again, I might not. Where are you at, dude? I'm running by. There he is. Oh! Nice try. Oh, what kind of a turn was that? Huh. What are you doing, itching your nose? <laughs> I mean, I've been there. I know what that's like. Oh, he switched to two hands. Oh, that was close. Ooh. Oh boy, I was just out of reach. Yeah. Uh. Oh boy. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Come here. Oh, one more hit. No! <laughs> oh! I should have just swung twice instead of even trying to pause. What a jump! You saw it too. He started to like pull his shield back out and then he immediately switched back to two hands and swung right down on me. <sighs> what a jump. All right, I'll just swoosh us right back to that room. All right, here we are. My goodness, I... I can't believe that. All right, run. Grab it. You got so lucky, chump. I had you. Poke. He's being extra cautious this time. Look at him. I ain't taking no chances. Ooh. Ooh, he did like a double spin. Oh, it's close. You suck, dude. You do. Oh. Can't believe you got me on that. Oh, there it goes. 
Oh. Oh, I managed to survive that hit. I got so lucky. Uh. Take a drink. Roll, roll. Oh. He paused, so I went for it. Oh, nice try, chump. Sit down. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I got the Havel's ring. <laughs> My goodness. That should have happened on the first try. I got him on number two, though. I'm happy with that. Okay, what did we find here? Boost maximum equipment load. Check that out. This ring was named after Havel the Rock, Lord Gwyn's old battlefield compatriot. Havel's men wore the ring to express faith in their leader and to carry a heavier load. That's pretty awesome. Well, I'm not really in need of that. If I was going with like some kind of a tank build or something, I could see that being a little more, a little more valuable. I beat him though, everybody. I got him. Ah. All right. He was just the appetizer though. Start working our way towards the main course. Point. Oh, I missed. Can I get him shot? Yay, I got him shot. Oh! Dude, that jump. Well, I got him dead now, too. Take a drink. That'll work. All right, you guys come back here. I like the assistance of the Hydras on these things, but... If I get hit, too... That's a big booby trap. Boink! There's one right here. Woohoo! Boink! Oh, I thought I could swing twice before he got me. That was not the case. Now, I thought there was one more. Wasn't there four? Aha. I see you, chump. I'm so glad I was able to beat that guy. I feel so accomplished. I still can't believe he got me on the last hit of that that first fight, though. That was hilarious. I even called out, one more hit, and then smash! He can't get to me. There we are. Okay, now the problem with this guy is I move slower in the water. I don't know how to move faster. I mean, I could change gear, I suppose, but how much of a difference would that make? Oh man, one of those suckers curved hard. Man, it's like sometimes they make it through the branches and sometimes they don't. It, it's hard to know. I have to use another one. All right. Oh, I went right under it. Look at that. It's curving. It's like it was shot in the direction I was running. All right. Show up. Oh. oh! Oh my goodness, I was within reach! Oh, wait a second here. Come on, charge at me again. Come on, take a hit. Nope. Not a spit, a hit. Here it comes. Swing. I got a hit on one. Yay. Oh, what? Okay. Come here. Come, Amy. Yeah, sit down, sucker. Chopped off another head. 
Now, every time I take one out, that's less, that's less spit coming at me. Come on. Come on, you know you want to take a bite. Oh, here they come. Oh, oh. oh my first wing missed. Look at all that crisscrossing and stuff, too. <laughs> These guys are getting ticked. They're not staying in the ground as long as you... Look how many heads you got, dude. Uh. Oh, I missed. What are you going to do? I mean, I could switch to my bow now, maybe. Come on. Come on. Try to take a bite. All right, I'll try this side. Oh, that got their attention. Uh. I got one hit. And swing. I can't even see. I can't see. Oh, there's one. Oh, how'd I miss you? Look at that. Face to face, just staring at the thing. I'm just swinging blind. I'm trying to stay a little closer, see if that helps. Where you at? I can't see where you're at, dude. Oh, come on. There we go. I got one hit. Oh, almost. I'm about to switch up, start using my bow. Oh, come on. Oh, I thought I had him. Oh, okay. I guess I got this thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, ho, ho. went right in my face. Uh. Maybe locking on is not the right way to do that. And love it. Oh. Maybe I do need to switch to my bow. Oh. Come on. Yeah, they're like, you're going to throw stuff? We're throwing stuff. Oh, if only I would have been on this weapon for that one. Right in front of me. That's what I'm talking about. How many heads you got left? What? One, two? Oh boy. Something tells me I could get in the water for this part. Oh, I, I am like barely moving when I'm in that water. Uh. All right, I'm getting all the way up on this sucker. Oh! No! I didn't know you could go up to it! <laughs> no way! 
No way! It all looked like it was the same depth to me. I can't believe that. <laughs> yeah, like two heads left. Oh, man. I feel so ripped off. Okay, well, we found some gear. Let's take a look at it. Um. Oh. It's very similar. Now, I know mine's got a plus three on it, so that probably changes things a bit, but it's got more poise. I keep hearing that's usually more important, and the weight's the same. I like that. Helm of a low rank knight. Despite the thin metal used, the grooved texture gives it added protection. Let's, uh. Yeah, that one's a, a smudge higher on both of those, too. And they definitely look like they're, they're in much better shape than what I have. Oh, I can't believe I lost that. Um, I'm going to stick with what I got. I thought about switching to the bow, but I think what I'm going to do... Maybe I should put, go ahead and switch this to the bow. What I'm going to do is when I get done to the last couple of heads, I'm going to start trying to stand behind that rock and shoot at him like I was doing that one time. Because the rock was blocking. Once he lost a couple heads, they weren't getting past that. Oh, gosh. That close. If I hadn't gotten all brave and was like, I'm just going to run in there and start swinging. I went walking right into that. Oh, that sucks. How many people knew that was going to happen? As soon as I said, I'm running up there, you were probably like, No, 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 don't! And bloop. Apparently my guy is not a very good swimmer. He didn't even try either. <laughs> he just straight up sank. Oh, uh, oh well. The things you learn the hard way on a blind playthrough, right? Oh. Uh, it was funny hearing your guys' comments about how you felt bad for me about being so excited for that door I was going to open up, and you guys were like, he doesn't even know. It's just going to lead him right back to the place he was at. <laughs> He's going to be so disappointed. I thought that was pretty funny. I knew you guys would get a kick out of that, too, because I was like, when I started recording the next episode and saw where it led me, I was like, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> no way. Now, I'm assuming that that's not going to be so far out that I can't grab it, right? It looks like it's a little ways into that water. Well, I'm going to take it very cautiously. I'm going to probably try to kill that thing before... Oop. I try to grab that that soul that's... Souls. I'm sorry, guys. I keep calling it soul instead of souls. Hopefully, eventually, I break that habit. Oh, my goodness. The first time they get all the way through the trees and it's when my back's turned. They try and get some early hits on me. They know what's about to go down. Like, guys, we gotta get some hits on him. I think he figured this out. It's pretty amazing how long of a, a neck those things have. Oof. You missed. Oh, what? What a cheap shot that was. Come on, Hydras. Let's let's fight each other fair and square, all right? All right, I gotta see if I can get all the way down there. They're kind of most dangerous at range just because they can keep shooting at me. And they don't stop until I get close. Did I get close already? Nope. Come here. Don't I look tasty? I look tasty. Oh boy. <laughs> the, 
None of them want to take a, a chance. Oh, come on. Did I get it? Oh, yes. Uh. Yeah, baby. Come on. Oh, I got me on splash damage on that one. No, no. Oh. Come here. Oh. I'm like so tense. All right, I got one hit on that one. Uh. Do they have dedicated spots they go to when they slam into the ground? It didn't, the way they crisscrossed so much, I didn't think they had like a dedicated spot, but maybe they do. I'll grab this. Oh, he got me on that one. Oh. Take a drink. Oh, you timed that one bad. <laughs> Oh, two hits. Yeah, baby. Oh, there's at least two more. Oop. One. No, no, no. Two. There we go. Okay. You're the one that makes me most nervous, though. Cause you're like diving way out there. All right. All right, we're going this route. I think this is the safest way. I don't think he's gonna hit me. Uh. Oh. I just hope I have enough arrows, because... Oh, now you come up here. Huh. Oh, he's almost gone. Ah! Yeah, baby. <laughs> ah! Revenge. I got a dragon scale and dusk crown ring what an amazing amazing fight that turned out to be okay let's see let's take a gander at the ring grants extra magic casting but halves hp this magic crown shaped ring was granted to prince dusk of olisel upon her birth the ring stone allows its wearer to cast additional magics but at the cost of one half of HP. Well, that's definitely not a ring I'm gonna wear. It's still cool that I got it though. Now, what is the uh, reinforce dragon weapons? Dragon scale for reinforcing dragon weapons peeled from an ancient dragon. A dragon is inseparable from its scales and the transcendent apostles who seek the perpetuity of the ancient dragons have crossed the very end of the earth to seek this invaluable treasure. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's amazing. If I had the ability, I would put down a message that says, I did it. I'm not going to read that. I'm so ner I don't know where the edge of the deep part is. I'm super nervous. Uh, but before I head up there, I wonder if there's anything else. Let's see if this ground by any chance has like a little path or anything around it. All that blood. I don't know if it's because of people sinking. 
or it's people that are dying from the dragon. I'm nervous to check. Um, I'm down to seven flasks. Man, I did really good on that. I don't know if I have enough for a level. Hmm. I don't think I have enough for a level. Part of me is thinking, you know what? This is actually a pretty good spot to maybe end this episode since uh, the beginning of the next one, we're going to head up that ladder, which should be so much easier now. But before we end this one, let's run back to the smith. I want to buy both of those boxes, the repair boxes. I still have not picked those up. Uh, I got enough to buy both of those, and then I might have enough to... Um, maybe upgrade some... I, I'm tempted to switch out the helmet and the gauntlets for those two new pieces and level them up. So they're comparable to what I have now because they do have more poise on them. They're basically the same weight. So I feel like it would be an improvement. Not to mention, it looks better. The helmet I got right now is all beat up, whereas that one looked like it was in pretty good shape. So let's see. Boink. Oh, oh I forgot. Put that back on my back. Oh, yes. Another clump. Oh, man. Fighting that Hydra was so cool. I am I would have not figured out how to fight that thing had I not accidentally run too close at that one point and I heard it come smashing into the ground. And I was like, wait, it can reach this far? That was amazing. So that was that was really cool. Hope you guys enjoyed. I took out two creatures in this one that had it coming. Well, hello again. You hello. Okay, now. Um. Hmm. 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 Modify. I don't think there was anything I was gonna do here. Oh, that would make it a divine. I can't make a... Oh, I could make a raw bow. And it would get stronger. Okay, good to know. Um, Reinforced weapons, I don't think... Nope, I don't have what I need there. Armor. Do those show up in the list by any chance? Okay, so... That's going to add a plus one. <laughs> so if I raised it by three... That would put, oop. That would put it at, I want to compare it to, I hate that I have to leave to try to compare. Oh, oops. oh so plus three is going to have this slightly weaker, actually. Because that would put that at a 17, whereas this is at an 18. It would have slightly more poise. Oh, let's put that on so I can actually compare. Uh, yeah, the poise would be slightly higher. I don't know. Does two poise make a huge difference? My thought was if I get two from this and I get one from the gloves, that's an increase of three poise. But I don't know if three poise is a big enough difference that it's worth investing all that into. If it was also lighter weight... I would certainly go for it. But the fact that it weighs the same? I don't know. Do I have... I don't have these maxed out yet, do I? I guess I could increase my... I know I've had some people... So I'm starting to get some mixed signals. Uh, I've had a lot of people say, you know, it's not worth it to spend souls upgrading armor. It's just really not worth it. Uh, but then I've had a bunch of people here recently start saying, no, for... Dark Souls 1, it actually can make a difference. You can survive a lot more hits with upgraded armor. Uh, so I'm kind of... <laughs> I have mixed emotions about what to do now. Um, okay, well, I'm going to pass on the armor then. Well, Alright, so let's buy those boxes. I want to get those before I forget again. Uh, we got the smith box, armor box, and the repair box. Repairing weapons. These are for reinforcing. So I want to get all three of these. 
Yep, yep, and yep. Okay. Uh, I want to buy some more arrows. I don't know when the next time is I'll be by here. Uh, I've got around 50, I think. I have 51. Let's buy... Woo! Let's buy 49, make it an even 100. There we go. Well, one to grow on. 101. Okay, and... I guess that's going to be it for the moment. Since I'm not going to swap out that armor. Uh, let's check the... Neither of us. I know, I know. Sorry. Messages, go away. Uh, I want to check the gloves and see how they compare. I was thinking that they were pretty similar. See, like, this is 22. I am looking at it, right? Defense is 22. And it's 17 on this one. Yeah, and the, and the resistance, on, or the poison only goes up by one. Bleed resistant goes up by two, but I, I'm not too worried about that. Durability actually goes down. Okay, well, it looks like this is going to be the armor I continue to run with. Sooner or later, I'm going to come across something that I, I just absolutely switch it out. Eventually. Okay, let me empty my stuff real quick. Okay. Oh, whoops. So that takes care of that. And you know what? I got this 3,000 soul. I don't want it to go to waste if I accidentally die, which we know can easily happen out there. So I'm sorry, people, if it bugs you, but I'm going to go ahead and level up my gear a bit more since I got the, the souls to do it. Okay, reinforce armor. Oh. Oh, no, these are taking the large... So I couldn't raise those. Oh, I didn't put the leggings away. Hmm. What do my current ones have? Oh. oh. I know, I know. Okay. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, we're ready to go. And then all of a sudden I'm sucked back in. So that's zero poise. Oh, but the weight goes way up. But look at that, that's gonna add 12 poise? Oh man, what is my weight at the moment? I'm at 23. So if I stay under 50%, 50 I gotta stay under basically 29. If I stay under 29, I'm good. If I put those on, it's me 27.6. Do I feel slower? Oh, but I don't really look cooler. I was hoping I would look cooler too. My little... I need to change my, uh, my chest piece, I think, if I want to start to feel like my outfit changes its look much. Hmm. Oh, I'm torn. That poise. 63. Okay, well, I'll leave this back on what it was for now, but I'm tempted. I might switch it out. Okay, now, let's go ahead and run back to the next bonfire. This way, we don't have to run at the beginning of the next episode. All right, you guys gotta let me know how to do on both those fights. I think I got them both on the second try, didn't I? Took me two tries on, was it Havel? I think that's how you pronounce his name. I feel like I got cheated on the first death on that one. Crushed me with one hit left. And then, uh, and then I managed to uh, take out Hydra on the second attempt. Oh, hear him! You just refused to let me by. Oh, because you had a goodie for me. Okay, I went with that. Man, Hydra had that Hydra thing had so many heads. Far more than I... Re I remember when I first saw it in the distance, I was like, oh my goodness, that thing's got like three heads. And then I got a little closer and I was like, wait, there's more like five. And I think when I finally got face to face with it, there was what, eight or nine heads on that thing? That's just crazy. Now, I do think that I'm going to start trying to pump some more points into my endurance and get my stamina up higher. I've had a few people suggest already uh, my stamina out of the... out of where I stand on my different elements... 
stat-wise. Uh, my stamina is probably what's needing the most help at the moment. Oh, did I make a wrong turn? I don't think I did. Um, so I think maybe the next time I manage to, I don't know, beat a big boss or something where I get a big chunk of souls, I am going to invest that into a bunch of stamina. Especially since I'm using a heavier weapon, I'm running around heavier, uh, but I'm also doing a lot better about rolling and dodging and stuff, and stamina plays a role in all that. Sometimes the only way I'll be able to roll and dodge and then still be able to attack is if my stamina is up higher. So I'm going to see about trying to spend some more points into that when I get some more opportunities. Well, that's it for this episode. Hope you had a good time and enjoyed the ride because, boy, this was a, this was a wet and wild one. <laughs> Until next time, continue to be safe out there, buddy. I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>